So you did it. You decided to remove this thing that was getting in the way of your presence, your happiness, your productivity, everything that you want to build up. This was kind of bringing down and you decided that you've had enough. You deleted social media, but something is going to happen to you that happens to probably 95% of people. And I've had hundreds of comments about it in my last how to delete social media video. It's probably going to happen to you as well, or it probably already has happened or it's happening right now. First of all, I want to congratulate you for removing these apps in the first place. This is something that not a lot of people are willing to do. It's clear that you're not kind of like everyone else in a good way. You're forging your own path in life and you know what's best for you and you decided to go out and do this. And that's just sincerely, good job, congratulations. Some people, it might not seem like a big deal, like, yeah, you just deleted some app. But for me, it was a big deal getting off these apps. And for you, it probably is too. So good job, congratulations for taking the first step. And now you're gonna start making more progress financially with your relationships, with everything that you want. So let's do it. And again, congratulations. Now, a lot of us spent four hours on social media when we had, or you're currently using that much. And that's like the low end of things. Some people are six, eight, 10 hours a day of social media. I'm not joking. It gets that bad for some people and that's okay. Again, I don't believe it's your fault. It's the companies that made these apps be addictive. But once we take away these apps, we now have whatever amount of time, for me it was probably three, four hours to do whatever the hell we want. People are always saying they never have enough time to do anything. The day isn't long enough. There's not enough time in the day to do anything. I just said the same thing, but you get the point. But it's like, check your screen time. Have you been spending hours a day on social media? The issue is half social media use, half not. Social media is very toxic, which I talked about in my last video. And all it's really ever brought us was pain, jealousy, fear of missing out, pretty much only negative things. So taking out this negativity from our life is a big step in getting to a better mental state and a better day-to-day -day life. And I, that's why I congratulated you. The second issue of social media use is the wasted time. Let's say you spent four hours a day on social media. That's 1,460 hours a year that you spent on social media. What if you spent the hours doing something else like learning a hobby or exercising? The change would be insane. You would look incredible and you would be incredible at whatever it is you were trying to get better at. But on the other hand, spending 1,460 hours on social media, I hope we can both agree, is 100% wasted time. There's no physical reward of social media as in you can't take anything home with you. There's nothing to show for the amount of time you've spent doing it. There's no reward, there's nothing, there's no improvement in anything. It's just the hours are just gone. And most of the time you don't even remember what you were doing for those hours. They're literally just gone. And when you used to use social media or if you currently do, how often do you remember what you saw that day on social media? And if you thought about it, you might be able to say one or two things, but also you don't think about it. So it's pretty much entirely wasted time. And you don't even feel good in the moment when you're doing it. You're kind of just scrolling there like. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's why I'm in the car. Occasionally you'll <laughs> exhale out of your nose when you see a funny thing, but for th that's your face. You're not enjoying it. You're just keeping yourself busy and not bored because a little boredom is so scary to all of us. <laughs> And to us, yes, this is addictive. The random chance that you might see someone attractive or you might see something that makes you breathe out of your nose is something we crave. It's the novelty. It's the maybe we'll see something nice, maybe we won't. It's like a slot machine. The slot machine, you it's like you put money into it, you scroll it or whatever, and you might win and you might not. And that's what makes our brain addicted to things. But it kept us scrolling. It works. And now that that slot machine is gone, our brain is going to latch on to the closest thing that resembles that to fill the pleasure that we're losing now that we don't use these apps anymore. For who knows how long after I quit social media, I jumped to YouTube and Netflix. I don't necessarily believe YouTube and Netflix are bad things. I think in moderation, there's really nothing wrong with them. Around one hour a day is my limit that I would be like, I'm okay, I did that today. But it is incredibly easy to remove Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram from your life and to just spend the four hours that you were doing those apps for to spend four hours on Netflix and YouTube. I will raise my hand and admit that I've done this to you. And I'm pretty sure you have done something along the lines of it too, from jumping from one addiction to another. And the good thing is you are doing the right thing by not being on social media because I believe YouTube and Netflix are better than those other apps. I don't consider YouTube a social media 
some people do, but I see YouTube as kind of like a content con I don't consider YouTube the same. You might see it differently, but when I talk about social media, I'm talking about Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, Snapchat, like those, those are like the social medias. Now, like I said, YouTube and Netflix are better than those apps, but you're still wasting a good amount of time. There's a whole ass palm tree. What happened to them, bro? <laughs> Where are they going? Go back to what I said about imagining the progress you could make towards something if you spent 1,000 plus hours doing it. Here comes the fun part. Take whatever it is you've always wanted to do. Maybe it's painting, learning an instrument, crocheting, whatever it is. And now you can start because you have all this extra free time. What's stopping you? Or if you're already learning something new, now spend more time doing it. You have three extra hours in the day, three plus extra hours in the day to do what, do and learn whatever you want. Isn't that exciting? I feel like it would kind of be a shame if you just spent all that new free time on YouTube and Netflix. Even if you were to only spend one hour of those extra hours every day doing something productive, that's still 365 hours of the in a year that you're now added to this new thing. This is the beauty of being off social media and using those hours productively. Here's your actionable step of the video. Take something that you've always wanted to learn, write it down. This is a journaling channel. Get your notebook or get something to write or even use your phone and write what it is you want to learn this year. One thing, playing guitar. And now, with all this extra free time, learn how to do it. Consistency isn't necessarily an easy thing, so that's something, but you can remind yourself like, I have so much free time. I've been on YouTube two hours. Let's do this new thing for just some time. That's how you start. It kind of sucks knowing I spent so much time not realizing I had just jumped from Snapchat to right to YouTube, you know? Get excited. And now that I've put it into perspective how much extra time you have, you can kind of get competitive about it. Everyone else is spending four plus hours a day on social media, and we don't want to be like that because it just doesn't work for us. So, find something. Your new activity shouldn't be a chore though. For example, I love playing piano. I could play for two hours straight and be happy. But to someone that doesn't really care for piano, that would be a chore. That would be dreadful, and they would only do it for an hour the first day, and then the next day it's like... So you know what I mean? So this needs to be something that you've always wanted to start. Even It doesn't have to be something crazy. Like it can be cooking. It can be going for a walk. Like, anything. But it has to be something that you can look forward to. We are all afraid of boredom. Let's be honest, that's why we all got so addicted to this technology in the first place. But it's a shame to not try to learn as many things that are possible on this earth. Karate, I don't know, yoga, whatever it is. <laughs> Just find something. And now with all this free time, because you've deleted social media. If you're here, you probably have, because 80% of you came from that social media video. Start now. And I'm not suggesting never watching YouTube or Netflix again. I use this strategy where I only consume content in the last hour of the day. And that's in this video, or this video, wherever the freaking card is. And I think this is the most productive way to live your life right now. Because you don't have to cut out anything, but you do all your productivity stuff, and then you kind of relax at night and then off to bed. This works for me, might not work for some people. Acknowledge if this is you. If you've been spending too much time on YouTube or whatever it is now that you don't have social media, it's okay. I've been there. It's just this little hump that you have to get over. Now that you deleted social media, you have to get over this bump of your addiction and replacing it with these things in the real world. And you'll be so freaking happy you did it. And start slowly. You don't have to become ultra productive, 100% of your day productive overnight. It's a process. Start with one thing, like I'm saying. I'm only asking for one thing, whatever it is. And start. You don't have to do an hour a day either. 15 minutes is better than zero. Five minutes is better than zero. But start and slowly build it over time. And as you are off your screens, you realize, damn, time is so slow when you're off a screen. I, I play piano for what feels like an hour, and I realize it's only been 15, no, it's only been like 30 minutes. Again, put it in perspective how much time we really, yes, have been wasting. How much now, free time, how exciting it is. If you agree with this content and you're ready to make the change, I like you. I have a Discord community in the description. We're almost at 300 members now. You'll, there's a lot of people like you that you can talk to, that you can become friends with. It's, it's honestly, it's really nice. Personal coaching calls are also in the description if you want more personal help where we can work on our problems together. Apparently my phone got too hot so it stopped recording, but 
personal coaching. <laughs> it didn't even rain. Why did I film this outside? I swear I'm not a pussy.